Hello everybody, welcome again. <sighs> Yin Yoga, my favorite. I'm so welcome that you're here to join me. Con todo el placer del mundo, dándole las bienvenidas otra vez a esta edición de Yin Yoga. Um, I give a couple of recommendations. I hope you saw them before we start. Di un par de recomendaciones. Espero que la hayas este, puesto atención. Están antes de esta clase. Una vez más, te voy a dar mi lista de mi estación, que son una cobija delgada, una cobija gruesa. Si no tienes bloques en casa y están en tu estudio, puedes hacer una caja o puedes usar también un libro grueso. If you don't have a block at home, you can use one of these boxes or you can use a thick book to be your block, being a little bit more handy with props in case they are not uh, in your house. And you have also a blanket and a second blanket just in case. And we're ready to start. So let's sit up straight. Vamos a sentarnos en su casa. Again, any cross-legged position that feels comfortable to your body. You can do half lotus. You can do easy sitting pose. Allow the shoulders to relax down and away from your ears. Vamos a dejar que los hombros se relajen. Y crear un cuellito largo, espina dorsal derecha. Bring your hands up with whatever mudra you feel like it. Today, for a little bit of grounding, I'm going to use my hands down to feel the earth underneath my body. Voy a utilizar las manos hacia abajo como mi mudra para encontrar un poquito de tierra. Respira, start breathing. Allow your eyes to be closed if you feel comfortable. Vamos a permitir que los ojos se cierren si te sientes a gusto. And when you close your eyes, Start watching the rhythm of your breath, inhaling and exhaling. And in yoga, we recommend to use a soft ujjayi breath. And in yoga, we have the recommendation to work with ujjayi breath, respiration del océano para mantenerte concentrado calentar un poquito adentro en la parte del centro permitir desintoxicación en tu cuerpo we also use ujjayi breath to warm up the center, the core of your body and allow detoxing to happen connect to all the sensations on your body as you center te conectas con todas las sensaciones de tu cuerpo al hacer tu centro. Enjoy some breaths and calmness. Disfruta un par de respiraciones aquí tranquilo. Any intentions for this class? Make them as your mantra for the rest of this hour of Yin Yoga. Cualquier intención de tu práctica, hazla como intención para esta clase de Yin Yoga, como un mantra. Or as we know, a Sankalpa o un Sankalpa para el resto de tu clase. Intención presente. Salute your body, hands in front of your chest. Manos al frente tuyo. Saludamos. Om Shanti Shanti. Namaste. All right. Let's begin with our first yin class. First, shake your legs, your ankles, your toes. Vamos a flexionar las piernas, a relajarlas, a mover los dedos, los pies. Iniciar con nuestra primera posición. Our first position is going to be butterfly, mariposa, or baro kanasana. So as you see, I have one of these props, Thai style cushion. They're perfect for yin yoga, but if you don't have one, you can use 
a thick blanket fold in few layers, but I'm going to use that one as I have it. Como viste, me estoy sentando en una superficie un poquito más alta para hacer mi mariposa. Si no tienes, dobla una cobija y con eso tienes. En Yin Yoga, una de las particularidades de este estilo es que el alineamiento es personal. Working with Yin Yoga, one of the particularities of this yoga style is that we're going to work with personal anatomy alignments. So what we're going to watch is when you find your butterfly that you get your edges. Perhaps some people are here, some people are higher, and that's nothing you can change. In my personal anatomy, my legs go down pretty easily, but that won't be necessarily the case. Por ejemplo, algunas personas su anatomía los dejan acá o acá. Si este no es tu flexibilidad, immediately, inmediatamente, si alguna rodilla lastima, you can use a block to support the leg in case that the knee doesn't work, or maybe two blankets in each side of the legs. También puedes usar las cobijas para amortiguarte un poquito en la caída de la rodilla si es que por ahí duele un flexor o duele en alguna otra parte del cuerpo. Now, what we're gonna do is just settle in. First principle of yoga, yin yoga, is to arrive into the posture. Make all the adjustments that need to be done. So from there, the next invitation is to find a comfortable edge and start finding your way down, encontrando cualquier ajuste que sea necesario, yéndote poco a poquito hacia abajo, going down slowly. And when you find that edge, you can gently relax down. Remember yin yoga, we're going to be here for at least two minutes as first asana. Acordándote que vamos a estar aquí por lo menos por dos minutos como primera postura. Entonces tratar de no irte muy rápido, con dolor y mucho menos aguantándote si hay dolor. Puedes ajustar en cualquier momento. Remember, we're going to be holding here for quite a while, so if this is uncomfortable, not good, immediately adjust. Breathe. Respira. Make a quick scan of your body. Haz un escaneo rápido de tu cuerpo. Check in all the areas from your hips to your groins. Where are you feeling this? How it feels? Sintiendo mi espalda, sintiendo cadera, sintiendo flexores. Continue breathing, sigue respirando. If you have sciatic nerve pain or herniated disc and going down makes you feel uncomfortable, please at any time you can come up and do your butterfly for a little bit higher. Si por ahí manifiestas disco herniado o protuberante, si hay dolor de estática, dolor de espalda, no bajes tanto, quédate un poquito más arriba y respira desde ahí. comfortable with a little bit of silence. Te vas a acostumbrar a que hay un poco de silencio entre posturas. Concentrate on your breath, concentrate in the music. Te concentras ya sea en tu respiración, en la música. If this is getting a little bit challenging, this is a part of yin yoga that is so important. When 
challenge arises, sometimes it's easier to run, to hide, to jump, but to stay and to observe and to build resilience sometimes to the slightly uncomfortable makes your nervous system stronger. Breathe. Observa si la dificultad empieza a manifestarse con calambres o ligera incomodidad. Es momento de observar la resiliencia. Evaluar si puedo seguir sosteniendo y si puedo. Quédate, porque a veces ante la dificultad es más fácil brincar, irte, esconderte. Pero la enseñanza más linda de Jin Yoga es la resiliencia de observar y permanecer. Respira. If the head cannot relax into the ground, of course you can use a little bit of more length, one hand on top of the other. Some people like to put the elbows on the ground and hold the head. Any variation in yin yoga to make this doable and possible. Not everybody is going to be able to go all the way down. Breathe. Si no te puedes ir hasta abajo, en cualquier momento, si te empieza a molestar tu cuello, te puedes ir una mano arriba de la otra. Hay mucha gente que se soporta en codos. En cualquier momento puedes modificar o adaptar o si quieres por ahí también subirte un tantito si es que molesta alguna parte del cuerpo. Keep breathing. Five last breaths in here. Cinco respiraciones más. Just helping yourself with your hands. Y ahora poco a poquito, con la ayuda de tus manos. Bring yourself up one vertebrae at the time. Empezamos una vértebra a la vez. A subir. Ah, a subir. Going up. Ah, stretch. Move cushion or blanket to the side. Mueves tu colchoncito de lado. Rodillas al centro. Knees go together. Mm. Lots of sensations when you move from one yin pose to the next. Muchas sensaciones cuando vas de una postura de yin a la otra. Please lift up your chest for a moment. Extend your spine. Breathe. Breathe. And exhale, just let go for a moment and shake your legs in front of you. In yin yoga, we also have some yang poses that helps us counterbalance. In esta práctica de yin, también tenemos unas cuantas posturas de hatha yoga yang que nos sirven para contrabalancear. Something that could feel really good after a butterfly will be to go into tabletop. So careful with your shoulders. I wouldn't recommend you to go all the way up to tabletop. You can do a little bit of a lift if that makes you comfortable like I'm doing right now. So just put in the shoulder backs and lengthen. If you're comfortable with tabletop, when you're ready on the next inhale with your hands a little bit wider, shoulder blades in con los brazos bien derechitos, el pecho abierto, inhale, inhala, arriba, let's go up and lift up for a moment, keep rising, sigue subiendo, 
checking in here that this could be a little bit of a red flag you don't want tension in your collarbones or shoulders quedarte aquí abajo puede ser una contraindicación para hombros what you want is to lift lift and lift head center and of course if you feel comfortable you can fully let go of your head back each body has a different anatomy please be careful cada cuerpo tiene una anatomía distinta por favor ten cuidado now if the head is back leave it there si tu cabeza está atrás así la dejas and now go slowly and return seat bones to the ground vamos a regresar otra vez nos sentamos slowly come up good Ah, sit down and shake your legs in front of you one more time. Shake your hands and take a breath. Suelta las manos, suelta los hombros y regresas. Let's do a little bit of upper body yin yoga. I know a lot of us have been spending a lot of time in our social media and phones. We're in our houses and sometimes it's easy, it's nothing to do, not to be judged, but we need to do something to keep your hands healthy, your shoulders healthy, as we cannot be all day prone forward. Muchos de nosotros estamos pasando demasiado tiempo en nuestros teléfonos, computadoras, estamos en casa y a lo mejor no hay nada más que hacer, entonces todo nuestro movimiento es hacia el frente que puede dañar tus tendones y ligamentos de muñecas tanto como hombros. So right now, with a very, very straight spine, sit down, con una espalda dorsal derechita, siéntate, extend your arms by your sides, vamos a extender tus brazos hacia los lados, take a deep inhale, inhalo, hombros arriba, on the exhalation, the shoulders are going to go down, and la exhalación, los hombros se van a ir hacia abajo. Now on the next inhale, extend your hands nice and wide. On the exhale, close your hands in a tight, tight fist. Inhalo, abro las manos. Exhalo, las cierro en puño. One more time, inhale, open your hands. And on the exhale, close your hands in a tight, tight fist. One last time, inhale, open. And on the exhale, close your hands, really getting a nice stretch for your hands. Now as the hands release down, shake them. You might feel a lot of sensation. Cuando las manos bajan, las sacudes, por ahí a lo mejor hay demasiada sensación en toda la parte del antebrazo. Next one in here, still in cross-legged position, upper body yin yoga. Seguimos aquí con un poquito de yin yoga para la parte de arriba de tu cuerpo, manos y pecho. Pon tus manos en el suelo. Put your hands on the ground and create a little bit of space. And right here, start pressing the hands on the ground and lifting the chest. Con tus manos en el suelo, levanta el pecho, déjalas aquí y estira todo tu cuerpo. Put a little bit of weight onto your hands. Continúa poniendo un poquito de peso continuo a tus muñecas. If you're comfortable, we're going to change to bring your hands open into the sides, stretching into your wrist. Si por ahí tienes espacio, vas a abrir tus manos hacia los lados, creando más estiramiento en tus muñecas. Breathe, lengthen through the chest, and be careful that the shoulders don't start curling up. Cuidado que los hombros no estén acá arriba. Quieres mantener los hombros abajo. Lower your shoulders down. Continue breathing. Last adjustment, of course, we always go to less and more at the end. El último ajuste, siendo el más avanzado, si quieres, vas a mandar las manos hacia ti. Y por ahí, mucha gente a lo mejor no va a poder hacer esto. You're going to turn your fingertips in towards you. And it's very normal that a lot of people will find this very strong. There is a strong alignment for your hands, and if you find pain or discomfort, don't do it. If you're able to do it, you're going to hold here, not for long, don't worry. Si lo aguantas, si se siente bien, vamos a estar aquí tantito. Inhale and exhale. Don't forget to breathe. No te olvides de tu respiración en ningún momento. 
holes. Take the last deep breath, última inhalación. And as you exhale, little by little, like speakers, move the hands off the ground. Como calcamonías, despegas tus manos poco a poquito. Otra vez, mucha sensación. Again, lots of sensation on your hands. Shake them, shake them. Move your hands in circles to one direction and to the other. Sacudes tus manos, se hace círculos hacia un lado y hacia el otro. Very good. Lift up the chest and shake your legs in front of you. Relax your legs. Great. Now, the next pose is Malasana Yin Yoga. We call it squat. En español creo que también le podemos decir squat. Esta es una posición de alto riesgo para rodillas. This is a posture that could significant be risky for knees that have previous injuries. So I'm going to show you so many variations you're going to choose. You're going to adapt, modify, and then you're going to hold. Remember the principles of yin yoga. Eh, squat puede ser una posición de alto riesgo para rodillas con lesiones. Te voy a dar todas las adaptaciones. Encuentras una que te guste y de ahí nos vamos a quedar sosteniendo. Y acuérdate de los principios de yin yoga. Llegas, ajustas, encuentras tu límite y el último sostiene. So first, we're going to use the Thai cushion or the full blanket. This is the friendliest for your knees. Sitting on top of that cushion, you're going to open your legs nice and wide like this. So there's quite of an opening and you're going to relax your body there, letting the arms open the knees to the sides. El primero es el más sencillo, sentado en tu colchón o en tu cobija doblada. Te vas a abrir con las rodillas y vas a dejar que los brazos empujen las rodillas hacia los lados, levantando el corazón, lifting the chest. You will immediately, right here, feel a stretch on your hips. Inmediatamente vas a sentir un estiramiento en cadera. So that's the first variation. If you don't have injuries on your knees, we follow the next variation. Si no tienes ninguna contraindicación en tus rodillas, we follow the next variation. Bringing the heels close to each other, knees open to the side. Let's go forward. Vámonos al frente. Remove the prop and now settle into your squat, however way is comfortable. Nos vamos aquí a dejar ir en malasana de cualquier manera que sea confortable. Now. Be aware that another part you need to be watching for is Achilles tendon. Otra parte que hay que tener cuidado es con la parte de atrás del talón de Aquiles. A lot of people uh, for their anatomy won't be able to relax the heels and they look like this. And you cannot bring them down and it's okay. That's why we're ready and prepared with props. You can right now get the full blanket that I asked you in the beginning put it behind you and support your heels that you're wearing high heels. Si por ahí el talón de Aquiles no se relaja, como observaste, nada más lo puse atrás como si fuera una plataforma para los talones. So we see the, tip, the three variations on the ground with your block supporting you. Second variation was regular squat, third variation gentle in your blanket. So my variation for Anna, so I'm able to hold, is with the heels on the ground. And the first uh, holding is going to be with the chest lifted, doing a little bit of an extension. So the hands go together in Anjali Mudra, inside of your elbows press, into the legs, and you lift your heart, extend your neck, and breathe. Esta primera variación, los antebrazos se fueron hacia adentro, movieron las rodillas hacia los lados, tu pecho está levantado, una mano contra la otra y tu corazón abierto. En extensión, en extension. Please breathe. This is not the easiest one to hold, as we all know. Por favor, asístete en cada momento con tu respiración. Como todos sabemos, esta no es la postura 
más fácil de sostener. Maybe some of you will have to come earlier. In a little bit of a more restful pose or sitting down. Quizá muchos de ustedes a lo mejor por ahí tendrán que sentarse antes, relajar las piernas. Si es que te está creando dolor. If you're fine, remember the last of the tatras of yin yoga is to be patient and hold. Acuérdate, uno de los últimos principios de yin yoga es detenerte, respirar, no rendirte y aguantar un poquito. The second part of this asana, we're going to go down into a little bit of a deeper stretch. La siguiente variación en esta postura en malasana va a ser rendirnos. So we're going to let our bodies go down. The whole neck and chest is going to release to gravity. So we can open the neck in this way, creating, creating space in your vertebrates. Te vas a vencer, te vas a soltar, creando espacio en todo el cuello, haciendo un poquito de tracción. Mm. Feeling traction on your neck, feeling stretch on your back. Allow the chin to relax, close to the chest. Vamos a permitir que esa barbilla se vaya cerquita hacia el pecho. Sigue respirando. Now when you're ready here, prepare for the last five breaths. Con respiraciones más. Now slowly we're gonna move up to dangling. Carefully, you're going to put your hands into the ground. Lots of sensation coming. Nos vamos a colgante o utatasana. Subes poco a poquito. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Go up slowly. And now, just enjoy stretching your legs. Feet is hip width apart. Of course, there's a lot of pleasant sensation going into the back of the legs, tons and tons. Por supuesto, a la hora que subiste y estiraste, hay muchísimo, muchísima sensación en la parte de atrás de tus piernas. Not everybody is going to be here where I am. This is again my anatomy. Some of you are here, some of you are here. Please, this is a very, very important posture to take care of your health on your back. Showing next a little bit of the adaptations you can do. Esta es una postura que tienes que tener mucho cuidado, principalmente si tienes problemas de espalda baja. Bend your knees if you have sciatica or if you have a herniated disc or if you're just simply tied on your lower back, this is going to be much more pleasant. Doblando en la parte de atrás de la curva de tu rodilla, si tienes por ahí ciática, hernia de disco, cualquier inflamación en tu espalda, esto va a ser mucho más sutil. Ok, find your variation. Encuentra tu variación. Respira, breathe. According to my body, my yoga variation, this is where I can hold and where it's comfortable, which is straight, you can remain with the knees bent. Depende de tu anatomía, encuentras tu variación. Esta es la mía, no que deba ser la tuya. Y te preparas a sostener. Ways that you can hold arms by your sides like two noodles. 
tapping each elbow with each palm maneras que puedes sostener esta postura es con tus brazos sueltos como muñequito de trapo o si quieres también cada mano en cada codo This is a wonderful, again, stretch for your neck. So let the neck relax completely. Let the arms and the weight of the head create beautiful traction for you. Vamos a soltar aquí todo, dejando que el peso de los brazos y de la cabeza Haga tracción estirando todas tus vértebras. Si hay que bajar antes, por favor, escucha tu cuerpo. Baja antes, lower down, if you need to. Inhale and exhale, inhala y exhala. As you can see in yin yoga, because we do so slow, the asana and the postures, there are very few of them. Si has observado cómo se tardan tanto las posturas en las secuencias de Yin Yoga, pues no hacemos tantas y menos en una hora, son poquitas. Last five breaths, últimas cinco respiraciones. Let go completely. And last five breaths, relax. Sueltas todo en estas cinco últimas, te relajas. prepare to calm down doing gracefully and carefully so from here we're gonna try to go into all fours we're gonna put your hands a little bit forward and then the legs a little bit back moving props if they're in your way and when you're ready put your knees down into the floor hands underneath the shoulders and again Cat cow being one of the poses that are super good for you into yin yoga to let the spine relax. So on the next inhale, you come up, head up, the chest up. And on the exhalation, we go angry cat, curl the spine under. Gato vaca, para soltar un poquito de yin, inhalamos. Arriba, levanta, sisquiones al cielo, cuello arriba. Exhalo, en redondo. It feels so good after the holding and dangling. Inhalo, se siente tan rico después de soltar en colgante o en utatasana por tanto tiempo. Respiras, respiras. Exhalo otra vez. Espina en redondo. And last time, take a deep inhale. We're going to lift the heart and the chest. We're going to hold our upper facing cat for three breaths, stretching your back. Vamos aquí a sostener tu gato hacia arriba, estirando. What I want you to notice is we're warming up your spine for sphinx. Un detalle que notas es que estás calentando en tu espalda baja para después irte a esfinge. Hold there, last breath, take a deep inhale. And on the exhalation, we're going to go down into child's pose when you're into child's pose we're going to do some variations in here so you get yourself ready this is a good timing to get your props handy este es un buen momento para tener todas tus cosas a la mano so here some people in long holdies in child's pose can get cramping in behind the ankle absolutely normal Especially if the feet has lost flexibility. Si alguien se le entume el pie o el tobillo es absolutamente normal. Entonces por aquí te puedes poner un prop abajo de la corva del tobillo. Te pones una cobija y con eso amortiguas un poquito. 
Now, next thing we're going to feel is the knees. If the knees feel uncomfortable, you can use one of these ones or a full blanket. Lift up and go prop the back. Este propping es especial para gente con lesión de rodillas donde Charles Pulse molesta. Lo pones aquí, te vas atrás. You go back and this prevents full flexion and this is a little bit safer for the knees. And now you could go down right away and relax. Ya que encontraste tu propping, el adecuado, ya te sueltas y te relajas. Somebody with no issues in the knees or on the ankles can work child's pose just the way it is, absolutely normal. Going down, do as you wish, do as you need. Algunas personas pueden hacer niño completamente sin props, dejándose caer a gravedad. I really like this variation as my neck doesn't completely go down and keep such into alignment. Esta variación es una de mis favoritas, una mano arriba de la otra, para que el cuello no quede colgando. Other variation could be forehead on the ground, arms by your sides. For some shoulders, this could be a little bit much. La otra variación que mostré era cabeza en el suelo, brazos a lo largo del cuerpo. Find your own some knees can go open, algunas rodillas se pueden ir abiertas, otras cerradas. And now we are going to hold in here for at least one minute. Ya que encontraste aquí la variación prudente, vamos a sostener por lo menos un minuto. Rest in your child's pose. Suavemente descansa en tu niño. Balasana. Stimulate kidney meridian. Estimulando el meridiano de tu riñón stretching and relaxing your lower back estirando y relajando la espalda baja Prepare your last five breaths. Consciente cuenta la última cinco respiraciones. Brazos al frente, arms forward. One of my favorite transitions. Transición super rica. Irte poco a poquito hacia el frente, al frente, al frente. Estiras tus piernas atrás, atrás. Ah. Y nos vamos a esfinge. An extension on your back in a sphinx pose. This is part of back extensions in yin yoga, upper body yin yoga. So let's take advantage of it that we're in this pose. Some yin yoga classic alignments recommend you like go into your joints. But my personal approach as we are spending too much time in computer and devices is to invite a little bit into the other way, which is length. 
Muchos alineamientos de yin yoga clásico te invitan a que te colapses un poquito hasta que encuentres el stop en tu articulación. Mi punto de vista personal con todo lo que estamos viviendo ahorita es que necesitamos levantar el pecho, el corazón, por tanto tiempo que pasamos, a lo mejor sentados, a lo mejor viendo el teléfono, la computadora y aquí estírate. Very simple alignment cues. Number one, make sure that your lower back feels safe. Alineamientos simples, cues, asegúrate de que tu espalda baja se sienta bien. Next one will be to make sure that your hands are reaching each elbow to maintain elbows underneath the shoulders. Segundo es mantener cada mano en cada codo para asegurarte que los codos no se vayan mucho afuera sino que se queden abajo de tus hombros y luego la extensión de tu pecho. Respiras, inhala y exhala. The debate, el debate en esfinge. What do you do with gluteus maximus and minimus, all the glute area? Un poquito de debate en alineamiento, en qué pasa con los glúteos, glúteo máximo, glúteo menor, glúteo medio. There are some people that had extreme tightness in the lower back. For those cases, it's good to fully relax your glutes. Hay gente que tiene extrema inflexibilidad en la espalda baja en esos casos puedes rejar, relajar los glúteos completamente on the other hand there is people that have overstretched their lower back too much becoming unstable so tiny bit of gluteus awareness will prevent you to go too deep into the joint hay gente que tiene muchísima hipermovilidad en la espalda por sobreestirarla entonces, si por ahí sientes inestabilidad en tu espalda baja, ponle un poquito de glúteo para mejorar un poquito el alineamiento y que no te vayas tan directo a la articulación. Keep breathing, keep lifting, extend your chest. This is a number one variation for Sphinx Pose. Esta es una variación número uno de Esfinge, totalmente amigable y rica. Number two will be to go all the way up, if you wish, into a wider Sphinx pose. La segunda sería irte todo arriba a Esfinge. Una Esfinge más alta, baja los hombros, lower the shoulders. Keep on breathing, sigue respirando. If this hurt your lower back, calm down. Si esto te molestó en tu espalda baja, inmediatamente de nuevo a tus codos y antebrazos. Keep the shoulders down and maybe you can climb a little bit higher. Si hay más espacio, puedes llevarte las manos más cerquita de ti y subir un poquito más. Each back is different. Cada espalda es diferente. Please, please, close your eyes. Stop looking at the screen for a moment. And be aware of what you're feeling. If it's right or wrong. Cierra tus ojos un momento y por favor ponte súper atento si es una variación que está bien para tu anatomía o no. No importa lo que la pantalla o el maestro está haciendo, importa tu cuerpo. Breathe. Count the last five breaths. Contamos las últimas cinco respiraciones. Almost done. Wonderful to stimulate into liver, kidney, meridian. Of course, also second chakra, pelvic area. Great asana for menstruation and helping you with cramps. Por supuesto, estás estimulando el meridiano del riñón, del hígado tu segundo chakra y también esta es una posición buenísima para ayudarte si por ahí sufres de cólicos menstruales. 
Let's go again in order, coming down first. Vamos a bajar primero a codos. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, you're gonna come down, going all the way down and giving yourself a moment, lying down completely. Mm. <sighs> Give yourself some deep breaths. When you're ready, bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Lift up, take a deep breath, inhale, rise, rise, rise. And on the exhale, we're gonna go into kneeling position. Of course, another pose that is a little bit controversial for knee injuries. So if this bothers you, please avoid it completely. Esta es otra posición que es un poquito controversial para gente con lesiones en rodillas. Si esto te lastima, evítala, no? And when you're here, just allow yourself to give yourself a moment to see if the knees are okay, if the thighs are okay. What if uh, the knees are not okay? You can come up, prop yourself with, again, a blanket right underneath and sit down. There is a great variation, but you require a harder block. So we're gonna see if this box works. A great variation for people that cannot do squat and wanna rehabilitate the knees is going into kneeling position, sitting on a box, and that takes the weight away, and that way there's not tension on your knees. This is how it looks sideways. This is how the profile looks when you're looking from the front. And that way, the box or the block is taking your weight, and the knees are anyway are being hyperextended. So this could be a great solution. Este puede ser una solución espectacular para gente que tiene problemas en rodillas, simplemente te sientas en tu bloque duro, en tu caja de cartón si es que no tienes y esta no es este, necesariamente tan agresiva para rodillas, al contrario es rehabilitatoria. If you don't need it, you're gonna go down, sit down again into kneeling position and we're gonna do a little bit of stretch with a little eagle arm, so you're gonna go one arm underneath the other, stretch your hands and just find a nice extension and let's breathe here five times. Vamos a respirar aquí cinco respiraciones con tus brazos en águila. Los brazos al frente se ven así. Respira cinco veces encontrando una tensión agradable estirando tus hombros. Inhalo, abro los brazos. Exhalo hacia el otro lado, other side on the exhale. Just go in here and stretch your arms the other way. Vamos a estirar los brazos del otro lado. Breathe five times, respira cinco. Encontrando una tensión agradable, finding a comfortable stretch. Breathe. And finally, on the next inhale, open your arms, relax. And that was for heart and long meridians that run all the way to your side body to this part. Este fue una estimulación al meridiano del pulmón y al corazón que van en toda tu parte lateral y jalan hasta los brazos. Lower to your side, vamos a sentarnos del ladito and shake your legs in front of you, relax your legs. Good, we're almost into time. Yin yoga goes so fast. We have the last 15 minutes and we're gonna spend them with postures on your back and a couple of hip openers. Los últimos 15 minutos, como observaron, yin yoga se va super rápido. Uh, los vamos a pasar en la espalda, haciendo un poquito de estiramientos y haciendo también algo que se sienta rico en tu cadera y abriendo con aperturas de cadera. We're gonna go forward and vertebra by vertebra with the help of your hands. You're gonna go down, down, down until you're down. Hug the knees to your chest and rock side to side. Vamos a mecer de lado a lado. Breathe. Let's spend here three breaths with just the knees into your chest. Vamos a acostarnos. 
mecernos de lado a lado y simplemente aquí aterrizar con tres respiraciones. Con rodillas en tu pecho. Okay, now when we're ready, we're going to stimulate again. Heart, long meridian, also, I think, bananasana or boomerang, however you want to call it, is suppose that almost hits every meridian as you're stretching all the lines that go outside your body. And it's a great way to have a little bit of a side extension mixed with a twist. La siguiente postura que vamos a hacer es para el meridiano del pulmón. Y meridiano también, otra vez del corazón, con los otros meridianos, pues también estiras toda la parte de los lados. Se llama la postura de la banana o bananasana. Entonces aquí, poco a poquito, lo que vamos a hacer, here what we're going to do, is just extend your legs in front of you nice and heavy, extender las piernas al frente, extendidas. And now bring your legs together to one side doesn't matter what side, remember you have only two sides. And now the upper body is going to move gently to the side, creating the shape of a boomerang. And the arms could be behind you, holding your neck. Or the arms can go over your head. Whatever feels comfortable with you. I don't know, uh, maybe from the camera I cannot be so much appreciated, but I want to show you and direct you verbally. Your body is from the corner of your ankles, bar to one side, hips don't move, stay center, and upper body is into the same side that your ankles. No sé si se puede apreciar desde la cámara, pero quieres hacer y adoptar la forma de un plátano. Tus tobillos juntos hacia un lado, tus caderas al centro no se mueven y la parte de arriba de tu cuerpo también se va en extensión lateral para formar esa forma de plátano. Los brazos se pueden ir arriba de la cabeza. If your arms hurt this way, please don't do them that way. And relax arms by your sides. The next variation to make this deeper is to bring the leg that is not into the side of your flex on top and cross it on top. Maintain your hips aligned. La siguiente variación es subir la pierna, cruzarla y mantener la cadera alineada. Let's assume you're going to the right side. The left leg is the one that goes on top. Si te fuiste hacia el lado derecho, la pierna izquierda es la que sube y mantienes cadera escuadrada. Breathe. Allow yourself to feel. Permítete sentir. Permítete relajarte. Paren en yoga. Sufro de alergias. Estamos en Ajiji, que en plena temporada de flores, entonces traigo por ahí un poquito de mucosa, entonces, perdón por la tos, no es el virus, detalle chusco. Everything can happen in yin yoga. 
We're in Nakihi, and we're surrounded by flowers and beautiful, beautiful trees with all kinds of plants growing. I suffer from allergies, so if you hear me coughing, don't worry. It's not the virus, and it's not contagious over the computer. Just a little funny joke. I'm sorry, my eyes are tearing and a little bit of a cough, but hey, this happened in real life too. Breathe. Now let's move carefully to the other side. We're gonna unwind the legs. Ay, 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 that's a, such a strong pose. Bring the chest to the center and hug the knees to your chest. Vamos a abrazar la rigidez al pecho. Absolutely normal that you have lots and lots of sensation right now in your lower back and your hip. Absolutamente normal, se hay mucha sensación en tu pecho, en tu corazón, inhalas. Y en la exhalación, sube, 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 ah, rodillas al pecho. Bring your head down, mandas la cabeza abajo. Bring the legs down to the floor. Let's do it onto the other side. Vamos a hacerlo hacia el otro lado. Good. And when you're ready, Let's move the legs to the left side or to the other side in case you didn't do the left. Las piernas juntas mueven hacia el lado izquierdo. Hips stay perfectly aligned. Las caderas se quedan perfectamente alineadas al centro. And your upper body is going to move over to the left side as well. And you find your arm variation. You can keep your hands here. You can put your hands behind you, or you can do, of course, your goddess arms as we did on the other side, on top of you. Keep breathing. Stretch. If you went to the left, the right leg could be on top as you did into the other side. Feeling all your body, inhaling and exhaling. Find the edge where it is a comfortable stretch and it's not too much. Perhaps you can go a little bit more. Again, not that you have to. Breathe. If you have your arm very, very flexible, you can bring the arm over the head or both arms. This is going to give you more of the heart and the long meridian. Si por ahí puedes estirar tu brazo y no hay dolor y se relaja en el piso, por ahí vas a estirar más del meridiano del pulmón y el corazón. Keep on breathing. Almost done. Sorry, a little bit of allergies again. Keep breathing. Sigue respirando, obviamente, cada que te Estás un poquito la mucosa, perdón, por las alergias otra vez. Respira, breathe. Now 
we're gonna release your feet vamos a soltar una pierna luego la otra vamos a regresar el torso let go of your legs come back to the center and one more time hug the knees to your chest abrazas tus rodillas al pecho ay estiras meses de lado a lado nuestra posición final our final pose forehead up to the knees come up from here our final asana will be happy baby nuestra posición final va a ser bebé feliz up bringing the legs open arms inside and bring your head down holding in here if this is too much you can grab from your ankles and if this is too much you can close the legs as you wish keep breathing this is flying butterfly this is happy baby We're gonna last only one minute here. It's our last posture today. Breathe in and out. Each inhale, you fill up tummy, fill up chest, fill up shoulders. And as you exhale, squeeze in, squeeze in. Getting the knees, getting close to the ground. Inhalamos, vientre. Pecho a hombros, exhalas, presionas ligeramente las rodillas hacia abajo, creando un estiramiento fuerte a tus flexores y cadera. You're creating a strong stretch to your hip flexors and your hips. Last five breaths, cuentas tus cinco últimas respiraciones. to the chest, abraza rodillas al pecho, ya soltaste, let go, let go, bring the legs to the ground and comfortably bring yourself into a windshield wiper, side to side, relax, hug the knees to your chest, you on the floor, staying down, arrange for Shavasana, I'm gonna sit up, ya que terminamos, te quedas en el suelo. Tú te preparas para relajación, relajación final. Ya acabó la sesión de Yin Yoga. We are done with the session of Yin Yoga. We just have the last few minutes of a soft guided Shavasana. You're down into the ground in corpus pose. Estás acostado en el piso. y relajarte vamos a pensar en el agua once you relax we're gonna think in water we're gonna visualize the night la noche the moon la luna Into the reality of female energy, energía yin, energía femenina. Think about the huge learning lesson that we're going through right now. 
try to relax into whatever the moment is bringing you. Por un momento, piensa todas las lecciones que te está enseñando la situación actual y a ver si podemos aceptarla sin resistirnos. ojos cerrados, with your eyes closed, relax, relax, if you want a longer shavasana you can stay a little bit longer, close your class, this is the end for me, when you're ready, bow yourself to your gratitude, que es para en Chavasan un ratito más, quédate. Por mí ya es todo, a la hora que te sientas listo, levantas, haces un centro final. Me despido hasta la siguiente sesión. Una disculpa si por ahí están viendo mis alergias. Mis ojos lloran un poquito y poquito mucosa atrás de mi garganta. An apology again. If you get to see my allergies, my eyes are watering a bit and there's lots of me is going through. It's allergy season and a peak blooming season. So we're humans. Somos humanos. I'm not a professional recording classes, so I'm going with the flow one more time, offering you with all my heart what I have to give. Ofreciéndoles de una manera muy improvisada, pues no sabíamos que este iba a ser nuestro escenario. Una disculpa, somos humanos y no están perfectas las clases, pero eso sí lo puedes asegurar. Son sinceras y del corazón. Me despido de ustedes. Om Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you so much. Om Shanti Shanti. Namaste.